There we go. Um, I have nothing to say right now. I have something to say here in about 20 seconds. Not right now, though, but in 20 seconds, I'll have something to say. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. <laughs> Let's go to life. There we go, Pete Astudio, porque le gusta bailar cumbia, pa, pa, na, porque, eh, don't sing? Okay, I, I won't sing. I got it. I got you. Good morning, Double R Radio, Tuesday morning. Here we are, um, August the 31st, 2021, the last day of August. Adios, Mr. Augusto, and here comes Septiembre. There we go. Um, man, these days are flying by. They really, really are. You know, um... Before anything else, I'm going to give y'all a Rochi report. Now, y'all know for the past two or three weeks, I've been, you know, crying and just, you know, pissed off because I had a little Rochi problem. I have a little Roach coming out over here, a little couple of Roaches over here. And then they come out, they don't come out, and, you know, weedy, weedy, wee, bada, bada, ba. Well, uh, like I was saying last week, I ran into a buddy of mine who I've known forever, or he knew me forever. I don't remember him, but that's okay. And he was wearing an exterminator outfit, and I said, well, okay. <laughs> hey, aren't you Robert Rivas? Uh, yeah, yes, yes. And so, by the way, is there any way, hey, man, uh, how much would you charge me? Put some medicine, you know, that Rochi medicine or whatever. Well, he came and took care of business. He sprayed everything behind the washer and the dryer, behind the fridge, behind the stove, and all those hard-to-reach places, right? And, uh, well, um, I got to tell you all. I got to tell y'all, man, um, I've seen one here or one there in the past two or three days, but they've all gone. <laughs> the roaches are gone. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to y'all. I kind of miss them. <laughs> hey, hey, man, I kind of miss those roaches. They kept me company. <laughs> I killed my party buddies. I used to get drunk with them. But I had to get rid of them, and I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, you know, now I got nobody to yell and scream at. Sometimes when you need somebody to yell and scream at, you know, you get good. But now I have no roaches to yell and scream at. There we go. Good morning, Jada. Good morning to Margaret Charles. Good morning, Margaret. How we doing? Oh, by the way, I noticed uh, your, your picture on your fingernails. Wow. Man, somebody did a Picasso on your nails. There we go. Anyways, also good morning, Chad. I got to Margie Cervantes. Good morning, Margarita. How we doing? So, anyways, here we are, Tuesday morning. Um, I was reporting earlier that um, out there in Louisiana, Hurricane Ida came in full force this past weekend, and there's a lot of flooding out there. And along with a lot of flooding, there's a lot of alligators that have come into areas that would never be there because there's no water there. But since they're flooding, alligators are all over the place. Well, anyways, um, according to news reports, one man who was in his own garage, flooded water in his garage, was trying to get two or three things from the closet outside of his garage, and an alligator came in and took him away. There we go. I mean... Wow, how crazy is that that you can't even go to your own garage without being attacked by an alligator? Really, man, alligators are seeing this as a feast. You know, I really that's why, man, I want nothing to do with Louisiana other than the casino. <laughs> but really, I mean, alligators are in full force in Louisiana and Florida. Over here in Texas, not so bad whatsoever, but over there, they're all over the place. Want nothing to do with them alligators whatsoever. And there you have it. Anyways, um, according to news reports, authorities are trying to find the alligator that took this man, ate this man. Um, I'll give them some heads up. If you're looking for the alligator that ate the man, just look for the gator with the toothpick. There we go. That should be him. Good morning, Chad. I got the Double R Radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Good morning, amiga. There we go. Cynthia is also my moderator for Double R Radio. It's the uh, Facebook page. There we go. Good morning. Also, good morning, Chad. I got the Double R Radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Now, um, got lots to talk about here. Let me see here. I talked about the Rochis. Um, I'll talk about this real briefly. This past weekend, for the first time, I made a brisket, not a big brisket, but a pretty good sized brisket. Eh, we'll 
go with uh, maybe three pounds, about three pound brisket, maybe four, no more than four. Went to H-E-B and had it cut up, a little three and a half pound brisket, and I made it in uh, my barbecue pit. We'll call it the George Foreman electric barbecue pit. Put some seasoning on it, you know, and did this, did that, put a couple of extras on there, put that baby in the pit. Um... I put it in the barbecue pit at 11 o'clock, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hours. And then from there, it would look beautiful. And then so what I did, I put it in foil and wrapped it up for another two and a half hours. And that mother would melt in your mouth, man. The brisket came out simply awesome. It really, really did. And uh, all I can say is, Bill Millers, watch out. <laughs> all right. Watch out, Bill Millers. I knew I could outdo you guys, but then again, anybody can. I got some stories for you here, man. Let's do this. Here we go. First things first. Check this out. Crazy story. A security guard shot a man three times, claims he acted in self-defense because the victim wasn't wearing a COVID mask. Really? Is that an excuse to shoot somebody three times? Hey, I'm defending my life. He's not wearing a mask. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, I don't understand this stuff, man. What's wrong with y'all? Man, uh, let me see here. What else do I got here? Now, check this out. A Wisconsin school board member says families will become spoiled with the free lunch program if they bring on the free lunch program that Families will become spoiled and quit sending lunches with their kids. Uh, they're probably right. I know I would. Uh, let's see here. What else is going on? Now, check this out. An FBI agent <laughs> who investigates sex crimes against children is charged with a sex crime against a child. <laughs> If you can't even trust the FBI who investigates sex crimes against children because he's doing his own sex crimes against children, how crazy is that, right? Jeez. Here we go, man. It gets worse. Check this out. Two black men say they were handcuffed while trying to return the TV to Walmart. <laughs> now they're suing Walmart. Walmart claims they weren't returning it. They were taking it. The two black men say they were returning it. So that's going to be interesting. That really, really is. Um, I have heard too many stories about Walmart. Um, I have heard too many stories about Walmart, where not even about Walmart, but Walmart uh, customers, where people sometimes walk in, grab a TV, and they walk off with it. Uh, uh, employees are not allowed to stop anybody stealing anything. You know, isn't that crazy? I'm, I wouldn't do it. I mean, it's not worth it. Chasing a customer out the door because he's carrying a TV, it's not even your TV. It's Walmart's TV. Let them deal with it. They got billions and billions of dollars. But really, for these two black men that once a, they say they were bringing the TV back, Securities, there they said no, they were taking it. So uh, I guess they're going to look at the video and uh, they'll figure it out. Now, here we go. And uh, check this out a landlord faces homelessness because the two homes that he, that he leases out, uh, the renters won't pay rent. <laughs> so now the two renters who are paying rent are going to have a home, but the guy who owns these two homes. Is going to be thrown out of his house because he's not collecting money from the renters so he can pay his rent. There you go. Uh, let's see here. What else? Uh, I get a kick out of this one. Jeez. Uh, Minnesota. A field hospital rated was rated after reports of COVID patients doing drugs and having group sex. <laughs> <laughs> a field hospital that is there for COVID patients to take care of patients, look after patients, 
get them back to health patients. Good health patients. Well, anyways, <laughs> this field hospital was raided because, uh, according to news reports, the patients there were doing drugs and having group sex. Woohoo! <laughs> no better way of getting over COVID, right? There we go. <laughs> Anyways, good morning, Chad. I got to Kathy Soto. He said, good morning from Jacksonville, Florida. Good morning, Kathy. How are we doing? As the, uh, Kathy, if you can, please keep the alligators over there. But we want nothing to do with alligators here in San Antonio whatsoever. We, have, uh, we don't want no alligators over here, Kathy. I know that Florida, Jacksonville, Miami, uh, Tampa Bay, Pensacola, you guys, men are loaded with alligators. Y'all can keep them. <laughs> Y'all can keep them. How much time do I have? Let me see here. Um, I got a little bit more time. Maybe I can give you one or two more news reports here. That crazy stuff, man. They really, really are. I think we're good to go. I, I think we are good to go. Anyways, here we are. Uh, Tuesday morning, the last day of August. Good morning, Jada Ganata. Brenda Selva. Good morning, amiga. How we doing? Here we are, the last day of August, and so be it. And here comes Mr. September. Now, that being said, um, football season is around the corner. The first NFL football game is a week from this coming Thursday between the world champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Dallas Cowboys. You know, um, I hate to say this, but I'm a Cowboy fan. I am. I'm running on fumes from the 70s and the 90s, but I really think it's going to be a blowout. I think Tampa Bay is going to beat the crap out of the Cowboys. I really do. But uh, we'll find out. I hope I'm wrong. I just... The Cowboys, como se dice en español, no traen nada. They really don't. They have all these high hopes on that quarterback. Overpaid, pobrecito, seems to be a nice guy. Uh, I think he's an okay quarterback. He's not your mega billion quarterback like they signed. He really isn't. Now, I hope he proved me wrong. I really, really do. You know, um, I was talking about this the other day on the morning show, too, where... Um, I tried getting Earth, Wind, and Fire tickets. Earth, Wind, and Fire, they're coming to San Antonio, I think the second week in September. And uh, I looked up ticket prices, and Earth, Wind, and Fire ticket prices, upper level, balcony, $180. Really? <laughs> $180 to be way up there with binoculars? Wow. I'm going to say, honey, I can see Earth and Wind, but I don't see fire. I don't see fire anywhere. And uh, $180 for balcony seats to see Earth, Wind, and Fire. Man, for $180, I can buy a 12-pack of beer, a dozen eggs, a pound of bacon, a loaf of bread, a pack of tortillas, and I can go on and on. Un aguacate, some barbacoa, another brisket, ow, and stuff like that. So I'll just keep my money. I think I have an Earth, Wind, and Fire live in concert DVD. I'll just put that baby on, and I'll be good to go. Let's keep it going. Eddie Gonzalez, que felicidad. Buenos dias. How we doing, everybody? Tuesday morning it is. I don't want to miss anybody here. I think we're all good to go. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me now. RobertRivasRadio.com. Simple. RobertRivasRadio.com. Click on that media player button, and you'll be joining me in vivo. Orale. <laughs> 